So go ahead, folks. Raise your hands if you actually know what this game is. You can read it right there. I wonder if Hitbox has this. Uh, kind of does. I only played this game maybe once or twice whenever I rented it on a spur of the moment thing from Blockbuster one weekend. I don't really remember very much about it. I remember it being incredibly hard. I, I think it's some type of point and click adventure. I did a little bit of testing on this a couple months ago just to try it out and make sure it was even the game I actually remembered. Nightshade, part one, the claws of Sutek. Suteka. Oh yeah, look at that hot pixel action. Look at those groundbreaking graphics. Okay, we'll just start the game. There is no load screen or anything. So, pathetic meddler, your career is over before it has begun. Now there is no one to stop me in my reign of evil. So I'll show you guys what happens when we fail. This took me a while to figure out as a kid. But basically we sat here in this chair. We can examine a candle for no readily explainable reason. There is a candle burning here. Okay. What about the bomb? It looks like an exceedingly dangerous bomb, which is going to explode any second now. Time to panic! Okay. And I've also got money. Nothing unusual here. Can we scoot this way? How far away can we get from the bomb? Hmm. Mm. I managed to avoid some of the bomb, damn it. I actually was hoping that would kill me. Now we need to use the candle here, I think. The candle has begun burning through Nightshade's ropes. Nightshade is finally free. Yes. Nightshade, the orange menace. So where can we go? Holy crap, these controls are horrible. A puddle. Gosh! A puddle of water. Ugh. It's even got things living in it. What else do we have here? I bet you guys didn't... I don't, I don't want to examine anything, game. Just quit freaking out. I bet you guys didn't know that regular Nintendo was capable of this, did you? So, do I need to turn the game volume down, by the way? On my audio meter, it seems really high over there. John Tron did something on this? It's interesting. It's a lever. I'm gonna turn it down for sure. God. You guys are bad at being audio technicians. You'll sit there and suffer through horribly loud sound and not even tell me. The lever has caution, self-destruct mechanism. Do not touch written upon it. Well... What, can I not operate the lever? Nightshade can't do that. It's kind of unfortunate. Got a picture up there. Do bother. It only takes like two seconds for me to actually do anything about it. It's thoroughly unremarkable. Except... No. Wait a minute. It's got... No, no, sorry. It is unremarkable. Some armor. Nightshade is too far away to examine the armor. It's gotta be up close enough that you can sniff it or lick it. From in amongst the armor, Nightshade collects a key. Okay. I wonder. Can I operate this? No. I... Uh, who is that? It's a man in blue. I don't know if he sees me or not. Don't mind me. What do we have here? Nothing. 
I have a bad feeling that if he catches me, something bad's gonna happen. Hmm. It looks... Cool. Oh. And it looks like there's something behind it as well. Well, in that case... Great quivering enigmas with a side salad and a light tartar sauce. There's a hidden exit here. So we take the hidden exit. Interesting. Fall through the floor. Hmm. I don't even know how to back out of these menus. <laughs> Watch out for the Monopoly guy. The crowbar is engraved. To my dearest Irma. Love, Toki. Well, let's... Let's get the crowbar. What do you mean Nightshade can't do that? So Nightshade can't pick up a potentially useful crowbar? I find that hard to believe. Nightshade can't plan ahead. His pockets are not big enough. These pictures are all over the place, by the way. What do we have here? A drawer. Nightshade picks up a flashlight from the drawer on this side. Okay. I don't know when that'll be useful. Let me collect a screwdriver from the drawer on this side. So I can collect a screwdriver, but not a crowbar. Hmm. The statue has a keyhole and a small slot in it. Well, in that case... How about... Strength. <laughs> Always the strength. Mm, it's a flashlight. Operate the key. See, now my problem is... I don't know how to use items on anything. Examine, operate, pick up, use. There we go, use. Key. On the statue. The key turns. What luck! Nightshade has found an ancient Egyptian coin. Okay. I was going to say, the, the regular Nintendo only had a button with four controllers on it. A, B, select, and start. Can't be that difficult to figure out. Bullcrap. There's a picture there. It's thoroughly unremarkable. Just like the other unremarkable one. Okay, I'm going to go try to pick up this crowbar again. I have to be able to pick it up. About pick up you. There we go. Yup. Just have to use the other one, the other menu. Quit hiding behind the pillar, you coward. You can be. All you need is a lot of spray paint. Yoink. So. No. My question is, can I? Okay, we did operate the lever. Question is, what did that do? If anything. The windows. They look like little brass screws on the ground. Well. All you gotta be is from New Jersey in order to be this orange. Oh, gosh dang it, I did not want to... Oh, this is... This is weird. Gotta kill the blue man. I was not expecting an action sequence. Put him up, put your dukes up. Who's gonna get the last hit here? I'm fighting the Hamburglar. Okay. Good lord. I'm just about dead. So we pulled the lever. Question is, what did pulling the lever do? Yeah, I was not expecting an action sequence. We are hanging on by the skin of our teeth. Well... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find my way out of here. Yeah, we got a little bit of popularity. How about... Operate... The lever there. I pulled it. Hey, look at that. Water has stopped. Cool. What a great great. My great great grandfather had a great that was greater than this, though. It didn't have all the rust that this one's got. Yeah, 
operate the grate. He's not quite in the right place. Well, game, it would be great if you could... Oh, God damn it! If you could just put me in the right place. So... I operate this. Oh, great. The grate's stuck. So, in that case... Use the stinking crowbar on the grate. Good thing I have my trusty flashlight with me. Unlike this poor sod here. Um, yeah, examine the bones. Nightshade collects a bone from the poor fella. Degrade the grate. Hmm. Anyone see something fishy about this? I walk down these stairs. I'm going upstairs. I'm not going to question it. I don't trust you, old man. Are you friend or are you foe? The old man is wearing a vortex as my chum badge. Okay. Don't trust birds. Hello, you. Cook, I would much prefer to talk to you. Do I have a talk command system? I can jump? I was going to say, please don't tell me I have to go to a menu every time to jump. I'll talk to the cook. Hot nuts, sir? Get your extra hot, tasty nuts, sir. Served fresh and steamy. Made by myself. Hand grown. All organic. 100% natural. Wouldn't try ripping you off at all. What about you? What do you have to say, old man? Bah! So you're here at last, huh? <laughs> you don't look too impressive. Why don't you have a proper cape? Where's your leotards? Vortex told me to wait for you, but I'm not having anything to do with you till you show me you can really fight crime. There's four crime bosses working for Sutek. King Rat, Goliath, Lord Muck, and the Ninja Mistress. Go beat one, up of the Go beat one of them up and maybe I'll consider helping you. Provided you don't die, considering the fact you have no life at all left. That looks like Lord Rat. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna have to bookmark that image before I uh, lose it in the stream. Don't really want to talk to Mr. Big Head right there. I'm pretty sure that's the building we just broke out of. So where are you going, little pigeon? There's a bum sleeping here. A newspaper covers his face. On the front page is a story about Professor Sandalford falling out with his old partner, Waldo Schmier, over Schmier's pilfering of Egyptian artifacts. I wonder if I can talk to the bum. Wake up, bum, you're on my bench. See the little goblin running through the forest. I don't see a goblin, I do see a bird. I do see a pretty big sparkle right here. Like, can I operate this? No. Another big headed guy. I have a feeling those big headed guys are bouncers of some type. Professional ass kickers. Hey, squirrels, are you friendly? This squirrel looks very hungry. He'd probably like a mouthful of hot nuts if we could get it for him. Hello, ma'am. Are you gonna be the sexy librarian of the game? Shh. No talking in the library. Oh god. Nothing here. I like my libraries to have demonic doorways. That's how I know that they're serious. And we're stuck. Books. Nothing unusual here. There's got to be. Sure. What if we operate? Or use? No. Say, so surely one of these... It looks like a secret door right here. Hmm. Oh, there is something unusual. One of these books looks strange. You're damn right it does. What do you mean Nightshade can't operate the book? 
pick up the book, maybe? Nightshade can't take the book. The book is too heavy for Nightshade. It uses words that are much too big for Nightshade. Hmm. Try and operate. Try and operate before. Nightshade can't do any of that. Pick up the books, Nightshade. Operate the books, Nightshade. Flashlight, key, screwdriver. It's a shame that I can't actually use anything in the background. <laughs> well, whatever. There's a secret door there. It's completely obvious, but... Nightshade does not have... There's another blue man. Was that a fucking T-Rex? No. It is something, though. Dinosaur. Dinosaur, dinosaur. A curator. Dinosaur. You don't know what this is, but it's dead. Okay, let's hope that it stays dead. Hello, sir. What were you doing to that dinosaur? Were you spray painting it? There is no reply. Okay. Well, there's a mummy in the background that I absolutely don't trust. Operate the diamond. Are you serious, game? <laughs> Farewell, lampshade. That's nightshade. Sorry, nightshade. It is a shame your career was so short. For a moment, I thought you might be a worthy opponent. Um. Operate. Lever? I can't reach it from here. What do you mean you can't reach it from here? You totally can reach it from here. You will reach it from here. There you go. There's two levers. They appear to be the conveyor belt levers. Mm. Well, Nightshade, if you were ever going to save yourself, that would have been the time. Hmm. Coin, bones, crowbars, screwdriver. Oh my god, we pulled the wrong lever and it sped things up. Splork! So, I think you gotta pull the right lever. Otherwise, you just speed up your death. Pathetic creature. Did you really think you were a match for the power of Sutek? Metro City is mine! Oh, man. I loved this game as a kid. I never got very far in it. But there was always so much to explore and so much to read and so much fun things to do and get killed doing. Nightshade has completed 0% of the game. You have achieved complete weed status. You are totally high, apparently. Blazed out of your skull, Nightshade. <laughs> you have failed, Lampshade. I will now turn you into applesauce. Yeah, I will probably stream this game again sometime. I... Re I remember... A bunch of different scenes. I don't know what path we're supposed to take either, so I'll probably just stream it and just run around aimlessly like I normally do. Yeah, and this 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 villain is pretty cool. They did a good job in this game. It's it was released for the PC as well, but I've never been able to find a copy of it. Um, and honestly, the NES version I'm a little bit partial to because of nostalgia reasons and all that. The Claws of Sutek. I kinda wanna see this intro. See what crazy stuff Lampshade gets into here. Of course we've got the hot streetwalker in the bodysuit. Hello, Evac. See, I think this game in intrigued me as a kid, 
on the regular Nintendo because there were so few games that actually had depth. Most games were just simple run and gun, side scrolling shooters with no to little dialogue that was horribly translated and written. And then I stumbled across a game like this at Blockbuster and it's actually got depth. It actually makes you think, it puts you in situations where you don't know what's going to happen. You have to figure things out repeatedly through trial and error. I was kind of hoping I could see how that rat fight was going to go. That way whenever I eventually do bump up against one of those rats, I know what their attack pattern is going to be like. So guys, it's been fun streaming all night long. I will be streaming again tonight at midnight. Ivan went pretty good. Um, we started off absolutely horrible and then progressed just kind of like I thought we would. And then got screwed over. Just like I thought we would. But yeah, I'll be streaming again at midnight most likely unless something comes up. Um, if you're on, if you've got me on Twitter, Twitter, the tweets, whatever, I'll be sending out a message on there whenever I start streaming. Probably start off with some dungeon mans and then progress through there. Um, I would eventually like to get a stream game that I'm actually going to work through and progress through instead of just continually bouncing from game to game, even though that is kind of fun. Anyways, thanks everyone for showing up. Hope you had fun. I've had fun hanging out and chatting with all of you. Uh, getting myself killed in ridiculous ways and failing at every single turn. And I will see you guys later.